Welcome to the Best of California. I'm your host, Pat Patterson. I hope you have a sweet tooth. Today's episode is California Sweet Spots. I'm in my Jelly Belly Mobile up here at the Jelly Belly Factory in the Bay Area. So bring your sweet tooth. Let's get in the Jelly Belly Mobile and head out. And our first California sweet spot, Seize Candies, of course. So I am so excited to be here at the home of Seas Candy, and I'm here with LA, Mr. LA Tours, Tom Sanchez. And Tom, I got to say, to me, there's three brands that continue to speak to California. That would be Disneyland, In-N-Out Burgers, and Seas Candy. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. So, Tom, tell us a little bit about the history of Seas. Well, Seas Candy, uh, and as, as it appears in the box, there's Mary C. She was a woman from um, uh, Toronto, Canada, who would make uh, candies in her own home. So they were so popular that her son decided to move to California, like so many people did, open up uh, a candy shop using his mother's recipes. A- and at first, it was out of, a, out of their own home in Pasadena. Pasadena Pat, connection. Pasadena. Oh my gosh! I'm, and and uh, when did they? Where did they have their first store? Where where did that happen? Well, the first store was open in 1921 uh, at 135 Northwestern. And I know one of the things about Seas Candy, and you are an expert in this area. Tell me what happened here, famously, for a TV show. Well, in 1952. Lucio Ball and Vivian Vance visited this this factory here in order to learn about the candy making uh, about candy making because they were filming their now classic episode job switching for I Love Lucy. So this is why they're on the conveyor belt and they can't get it fast enough. Right, exactly, and, and the supervisors yelling, "Speed it up, girls!" and they're swallowing everything and putting everything down their clothes. <laughs> Fine, you're doing splendidly. Speed it up, all! <laughs> This is their blocking, where they did their blocking. And and in terms of C's currently, tell me a little bit about what, what the status of C's is currently. Well, it's owned by Berkshire Hathaway, which is a company owned by Warren Buffett, the investor extraordinaire. And Warren Buffett really takes an active interest in C's. He always serves C's candy at his board meetings. Oh my gosh, well that makes sense. I, mean, I, hope, I hope they're all maintaining their weight somehow. Uh, and, and your favorite, flavor what's your favorite flavor? well i i have i have two i can never just have one right so <laughs> I, I i shuttled between uh peanut clusters which i've loved since i was a child and when c started making truffles truffles i always eat that, that took over well mine is chocolate buttercreams that's what i battled my brother steve over so one of the things you all should do is tell us your favorite c's candy flavor wherever you however you can get it to us facebook or uh, youtube and Tom, uh, just tell me a little bit about how this brand, I mean, what's, what's your sense of how this brand has stayed so pure? Well, there has been, well, interesting. All the different owners have seen the value of the ingredients, the kinds of ingredients that were uh, that have been used for Seas Candy, and they've really made a commitment to keep it as close to the way that Mary C. made her candies as much as possible, and yet doing things that would make it affordable, uh, and more available, so they started to um, do wholesale pricing for candy. They were among the first to do that during the oh, Depression. Yeah. Okay. And then went by opening a candy factory in San Francisco, they were able to branch out and expand the brand more. Mr. L.A. Tours, Tom Ch- Sanchez, thank you so much. Thank you, Pat, very much for having me.